Hi, I'm Ben from BIM Object, and today I'm going to show how the NORYPS objects for ARCHICAD work. So as most of you know by now, uh, a few weeks ago we released the Scandinavian manufacturer NORYPS objects, a uh, number of their products, and we've had some inquiries about how they actually work with ARCHICAD. Um, as you can see, these products are available only for ARCHICAD at this stage. Uh, I can go ahead and download this particular object, uh, and please note that by downloading one of the objects you actually do download the whole wall series. So after the initial download uh, I can go ahead now and load these objects into ARCHICAD uh, the normal way through the file, libraries and objects and library manager. Once we have the library manager up we can choose the add function and then we can simply go ahead and load those objects in and take OK. Now at this stage you'll see uh, in a moment that the objects are available under the object menu and as you can see we have the products loaded in and at this stage these objects are not freestanding objects as it, as if they were a, uh, a furniture item. These objects are actually developed around a technology which is developed and maintained by ARCHICAD and it's called the Accessories Tools. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and first of all download and install the Accessories Tools. This is something that is totally free for all ARCHICAD users and it's available under the Help menu, ARCHICAD 15 Downloads, and once you come to the support part page of the download area, you'll see under the 3D Studio in an accessories tools download. Um, and of course you download the, uh, the version that is required, either, either the Windows version or the Mac version. Um, because I'm using a PC, I'll download the Windows version. And once that's downloaded, we can either simply click on the, uh, the application down here or we can go ahead and find it in our downloads folder on our local machine. Now this next part is very important. Um, before the application is installed, please make sure you have ARCHICAD turned off. So go ahead and save everything and close ARCHICAD down. And once, that be, once that's been closed down, you can go ahead and double click on the accessories tool. And you can just take yes and extract and what the application does is extract to a local temporary folder and we can go ahead and just accept these and go through everything here and make sure that you have the right ARCHICAD version downloaded and that you are actually installing it into the right ARCHICAD version as well. So in this case I'm using ARCHICAD 15, the international version, so that's correct and it's installed on my D drive and go ahead and install that. So once that's been done and installed, we can go ahead and take finish and start up ARCHICAD. And once we've opened up ARCHICAD, if we go to the design menu, design extras, we'll now see a new menu called accessories. And you see that we have roof, slabs and walls. And if I go ahead and take the wall accessories, you will now see the full functionality of the objects and these are again connected to the uh, the add-on which is built on ARCHICAD. And then you can go ahead and start placing out the walls accordingly and you can see all of the different settings in here. But I'll go ahead and uh, do another film, another video, instruction video explaining how they work in more detail. What I'd actually like to show now is the second part or the second download of the objects. So as you can see here we have an ARCHICAD AAT file which is actually an ARCHICAD attribute file. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. Now attribute files work a little bit differently compared to uh, normal objects. So what I'd like to do now is just quickly show how we get AAT files into ARCHICAD or how we load them into ARCHICAD. And it's very simple. Uh, we take the options menu, element attributes, and if we choose Attribute Manager, and as you can see here we have a lot of different tabs. So what I'd like to do now is actually bring in some attributes 
for composite structures and as you can see I already actually have them loaded in but I'll go ahead and choose the open button on the right hand side and choose the NORYPS AAT file and as you can see here we now have access to all of the composite structures and of course if you didn't have them already loaded in we could do an, a, a simple append um, if you do an overwrite what it actually will do is that will overwrite all of the existing so you can see here the index number is 1 through 11 so ble please be very careful um, when you do an overwrite because what it, Archicad actually will do is it will overwrite existing numbers 1 through 11 so that means if you have another composite structure that is already has the the index number 1 it will be overwritten by this particular index number 1 so please be very careful so I do suggest that you always use the append button and as you can see here I have duplicates now because I already have them loaded um, so I'll go ahead and choose cancel but you can see that I ne have now appended or I have attached them I haven't overwritten anything and they work very simply it's a 2D structure so that means that we have access to them under the structure cut fill in Archicad and as you can see it's under the composite structures so you could go ahead and choose any particular structure and simply draw it out so that's what I'd like to show today and thank you very much for your time and we'll see you next time bye bye for now